Well, hello there, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. My name's Renee, and I like to share the postcards that I receive from postcrossing.com. Today, I've got something a little bit different. So I've been watching a couple of channels, namely Keek's Postal Service, and she has a friend who has been sending her postcards with these amazing pictorial postmarks on them. So I just kind of Googled pictorial postcard or postmarks just to give you a feel for what some of these are. But these are just really beautiful. Like I love this one with the dinosaur. There's one over here with a volcano. We've got lovely flowers right here. Here's one with Frankenstein on it. And I've just been intrigued on how you go about getting these pictorial postcard postmarks because like I can't travel to all of these places where they are located in order to get a postcard that is then um, postmarked and sent back to me. So I just happened to be watching another YouTube channel by the title of Bell's mailbox I think it is I'm going to link channels down below for you um, but just this past week she lives in Australia and she put together a video on getting Australian pictorial postmarks and so I thought okay we've got a lot of signs here for me to start doing some digging around to figure out how to get these pictorial postmarks. So I figured it out. And what I want to do is I want to share it with you today. And I am going to put all the links down below. And in this first part of the video, what I'm going to do is show you how to go about um, putting these uh, the, the little letters together for um, the post offices with these postmarks. And then I'm gonna go ahead and send them off and I'll end this video. And then I will come back with a second part to this video. It will be moments to you, but it will be have been um, the amount of time for the postcard to go and then come back. But I thought I would share this with you in case it's something that you are interested in. So what I figured out just by watching Belle's channel is that she was looking in Australia at something called the Postal Bulletin. So I thought, well, does the United States have one of these Postal Bulletins? And lo and behold, as you can see here on my screen, they do. And it looks like from what I can tell based upon the dates, is that this bulletin comes out every two weeks. So what I did for today's video was I of course went to the year 2023 and I went to the latest issue here, which is issue 22634 that was put out on October 5th. The date that I am recording this is October 14th, okay? And so what I did was I just clicked down here onto the PDF and what this did was this brought up the Postal Bulletin, a PDF of the Postal Bulletin. So it took me just a few moments, but I figured out that it is located over here on the menu on the left hand side under Stamp Services. And when you click on that, lo and behold, here is the pictorial postmarks announcement. So these are pictorial postmarks that are current that you can send away to get the postal, um, the pictorial postmark. All right, so it gives you some directions here. And it says, you know, if you're going to the local events, you can get, you know, these done. Um, but if you're gonna send in um, to have the postmarks, then they must be postmarked no later than 30 days following the requested pictorial postmark date. And I'll show you what that means here in a second. But the other thing that I noticed is that over here it says, customers wishing to attain a postmark must affix stamps to any envelope or postcard of their choice, address it the envelope or postcard to themselves or others, insert a card or post 
a card of postcard thickness in envelopes for sturdiness and tuck in the flap. Place the envelope or postcard in a larger envelope and address it to pictorial postmarks followed by the name of the station, address, etc. And so here's what I find is as you're going down, here's where the current pictorial postmarks are located for this issue. And again, remember, once the first date, so here the first date for this one, um, which is Dr. C.T. Wright Post Office Station, this one started on October 5th. So you have 30 days from that point to be able to get that postmark. Here's another one for Tunnel 13 Station in Oregon. There's one here for the Indiana Stamp Club, which is in Indianapolis. And here's another one that is the Messenger Wood Station. And so there are a lot of them. Uh, there's Here's one for fall farm tours that you can send to. Here's one for, um, is that football? Uh, here's one for World Figure and, fig and Fancy Skating Championships. Here's one here for um, the USS Parch, which is a submarine. And so, yeah, these are the ones that are current. But I also want to show you that some of the other ones can also be good as well. So let me move this real quick. Let's see if I can get back a page. Nope, it won't let me. <laughs> I am, oh, there we go. Yeah, okay, so I could also go, if we stay in 2023, I think I still have enough time to be able to do this one on September 21st. And again, if you come down to um, stamp services. <laughs> and here are pectoral postmarks that you can get. There's an Albany Pioneer Days, and here's the one for John Lewis. I know that Keeks just got one for John Lewis. And so you have this really big variety of these different, um, uh, uh, what should I call it? Sorry. Um, these postmarks that you can get. So here's what I did. Let me go back again to the latest um, postal bulletin and click here again to the PDF and then come down to stamp services. And so I really like owls. Okay. So I thought, what, how could I do this for the owls to be able to get the owls? So what I did was I went ahead and I found a card in my collection that's an owl, okay? And then I, on the back, wrote myself, here is a little bit of fun facts about owls. And taking Bell's cue, I put a little sticker here. It's just a post-it note about where I'd like for them to postmark this card. And then again, taking a cue from Bell, um, she wrote a little note to the postal worker, just asking um, to please postmark this and listing the postmark name in the little uh, note. And then once completed, if they could just then put it back in the mail to me. And then I stamped my little She's a Renegade up here. Uh, this is my stamp for post crossing. And then the other thing that I did was to write up the envelope with the address that you see here on the screen. And of course, stamped it with a US uh, Forever stamp to put it in the mail. And so what I'll do is this postcard, I will, and I stamped it as well, but I will finish filling out my address. And then I'll put this along with my little letter into this envelope and send it off today and ask them to please postmark it. So I did it with owls. And then I also very much love ice skating. Um, and so I went through my postcard stash 
and I found this postcard. This is by one of my absolute favorite, favorite um, postcard artists. Her name's Isla. And so I did this. And again, on the back, I wrote fun facts about ice skating. I stamped it with a postcard stamp. I asked them to please put the pictorial postcard postmark here. And after I'm no longer recording again, I'll fill in my address. And then I again just wrote a really simple little note to ask them to please stamp it with the, um, the figure skating postmark. And then I included a, or a, a I've got a, an envelope that I'm going to slip the postmark postcard into um, that is also stamped as well. So I'm going to put these out in the mail today and then I will come back again. It'll probably just be moments for you, but for me, it'll probably be at least, you know, a week and a half to two weeks, but I will come back and I will show you the postcards that I have received back. So hang on a couple more seconds here and I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Hello there. Welcome back. It has been just a moment for you, but it has been about two and a half weeks for me, but I did receive back the two postcards that I sent in for the pictorial postcards. So let me show you the first one, if you will remember, that I sent in this card here with the ice skates on it, and I wanted to get the ice skating um, pictorial postmark, and so it arrived back. And isn't that really neat? It's the World Figure and Fancy Skating Championships. So that's how that one is stamped. And what I did for myself was I just wrote some fun facts about ice skating. I love ice skating. I think I may have mentioned that before. But there is that first postmark. And then the second postmark, if you will recall, I sent in with an owl. And so coming back, here is the postmark. Um, for the Woods Station um, Rescue, Rehabilitate, and Release, celebrating 25 years. And again, I just wrote some fun facts about owls for myself on this postcard. So this works. I hope that you will look into getting some pictorial postcards. Also, if you are out of the country, you can still send in and have these sent back to you. Um, you'll have to figure out some postage and things like that because you can actually order postage through the United States and have it sent to you in the other country. And then at that point, put that postage you know, on the postcard and have it sent back to you. So, you know, that will work too. So I hope you will explore this. It was a lot of fun. There, pardon me, there are a couple new ones that I really want to um, uh, try and get for myself as well. So happy post crossing and happy, you know, pictorial postcards. And if you find some really good ones, I'd love to hear about it. All right, bye for now. <laughs>